Good morning, everyone. This is Matt Croissant, your internet manager and dedicated content creator over here at Kia of Columbia here in Missouri, getting you some information on this 2020 Chrysler Pacifica Touring L. So let's go ahead and get started here looking at this beautiful steel gray paint coat here. Excuse me. We've got projector beam headlights up front with LED daytime running lights. Looks like we've got some halogen high beams or daytime runners right there as well. You can see that's currently on for whatever reason. Projector beam fog lights also available on here for you. The touring model has color matched mirrors and color matched door handles. And we also have a nice amount of chrome on here too. On the body side molding, a little bit on the door handles, wrapping around our window trim here and on our rail system. The rail system is actually pretty cool. It's got built-in crossbars. So those just swing out to attach to the opposite rail there. So you've got cargo capability up top. Just going over the majority of features and equipment available on this vehicle for you. This Pacifica has about 63,501 miles. It's powered by a 3.6 liter V6, paired up to a nine speed automatic. And this color that we're seeing today is called Granite Crystal Metallic Clear Coat. What a mouthful. Awesome, and we've got a black leather interior. Any other information that you need, head on over to keyofcolumbia.com or scan this QR code right now. All right, so we've got privacy glass on all of our rear windows here, power windows for the first and second row, wrapping around to the rear here. Some sharp looking tail lights, backup camera, it's gonna be on here. You've got a heated back glass with a rear wiper and sprayer. This should be a power lift gate. You've also got some rear parking sensors back here too. Taking a peek at the side mirrors here. You've got blind spot monitors on these mirrors. We have keyless entry on the front two doors for locking and unlocking. And you can press these buttons on the rear doors to use the power doors here. We've got a 17 inch wheel set on here some nice fresh looking tires on there it's got some great tread life right there awesome next up we're gonna go ahead and hop inside and see what all this Pacifica has to offer <clears throat> outside mirrors are also going to be heated by the way <clears throat> excuse me We've got power locks, windows, and mirrors here. Front two windows are automatic. We've got memory seating for two here, which is going to memorize your mirrors and the seat positioning for this model. Plenty of storage in the doors here with a bottle holder. We've got a power driver seat, nice leather interior. We've got black leather with looks to be uh, maybe some copper stitching is what I would call that. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 ways of adjustability with that power up down lumbar support. Nice little catch tray right here and what appears to be maybe a place to hold a small umbrella. Someone drop a comment, why? Just, why? <laughs> yeah, we're in the design room and on this catch tray, we wanna put a happy smiley sun face on here. So, uh... <laughs> Starting on the left-hand side of the dash, we've got automatic climate, con automatic climate, automatic headlights with your fog light controls here, cabin light controls, and dash illumination controls. We've got a leather-wrapped and heated steering wheel right here, just so you know, very nice. On the left-hand side, we have a directional pad for uh, controlling your drive display right here. We've got a couple indicators on here right now and we can go over what those are so start stop technology there seems to be an issue as to why it can or can't activate right now and we can actually figure out why in this screen here our tpms light is also on here so let's go ahead and check that out but uh, on this drive display you can see currently your dr digital speedometer and then going from top to bottom we've got our cardinal direction transmission selection fuel range ambient temperature and our odometer moving down we can see that the front left tire is just a little low so we can always get that adjusted looks like it just needs one extra pound per square inch of pressure right there okay moving over we can also check out 
uh, multiple gauges for coolant, transmission temperature, oil temperature, your oil pressure, your oil life, battery voltage for your charging, engine hours for the vehicle too. Then moving down we can check out active fuel economy information, trip information for trip A, trip B, excuse me, stop start unavailable, service stop start system. So. Um, Either you need to turn this on or off, possibly, but it could be because the seatbelt's off right now, or there's something going on with the vehicle as to why um, it doesn't want to operate that. So uh, we'll have to figure that out if you are interested in this vehicle, and we can always take this over to our Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram store to figure it out. Moving down here, you also have your audio information, messages from the system. Looks like this is a true error that does need to be resolved, so we can do that. And we also have screen settings here too. Beyond that, on the left-hand side of the wheel, we've got Bluetooth and voice recognition controls. On the right-hand side, we have cruise controls for you. And if we need to adjust the steering wheel, we can always unlock it from right here. There's a lever that allows you to tilt and telescope the wheel. And then on the back side, we're gonna have volume controls here and then track and preset controls over here left hand wand will control your blinkers and brights right hand wand will be for your front and rear wipers with their respective sprayers moving up we have home link garage controls on this visor also got a mirror and some lighting as well as a nice little ticket holder here you can also swing this out and have a telescope a little bit for all of your shading needs. A couple Bluetooth microphones up here. Up above, we have controls for our power lift gate, power doors, our interior lighting. Got some nice LED lighting here. So, nice little sunglass holder, and we've got a wide angle mirror here so you can see all of your rear passengers. Then we have an auto dimming rear view mirror right here so you can reduce the glare at nighttime. And down below is going to be our entertainment center. Nice uh, little touch screen here. So we can see we've got all of the radio options available in, uh, in today's world. Media, you can use for your USB, auxiliary port, Bluetooth, climate controls. This is an automatic tri-climate temperature control system. So you've got front, uh, front, driver, front driver and passenger climate as well as rear climate control. Sorry stumbling through my words today. Uh, then you've got all of your Uconnect apps right here. So you can actually choose what shortcuts will be down here is how this works and what's being instructed. As far as controls go, you've got access to the heated seats and heated wheel that are up front, phone connections, and the rest of your settings too. So let's go ahead and check that out real quick. <laughs> I'm a strong sneezer, folks. Engine off options. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. That's got nothing to do with the start-stop technology here. Maybe nothing we can do to service that right now, but we can definitely get it figured out. So, besides that, moving down here, we've got some analog controls in our shifter here. So, we'll just go from left to right. Here is your shifter. It's a nice little dial, which frees up a lot of space down below here for you. Putting the vehicle in reverse is going to bring up your backup camera. So, you've got full clear view of your bumper there. And then wherever you cut the wheel, you've got projected pathing to show you where the Pacifica will be turning to. Those left and right hand lines represent the sides of the Pacifica. So, as long as nothing's getting close or coming in between, you shouldn't impact with anything, but don't be afraid to use your mirrors if you are getting close to something with those lines there. That beep was our rear cross traffic alert going off, um, just mistakenly catching some of this side traffic over here from the street that's parallel to us, making sure that we're completely safe here. Rear parking sensors actually also pop up here on your front display. And we have analog controls for your volume, start-stop technology, parking sensors, trash control, tuning, muting, hazard lights, turning the screen off, and then your climate controls. Uh, this vehicle is also equipped with an electric parking brake for you. And then down here, let's see if we can get a good angle. 
We've got some nice storage. You can put a phone in here for sure. Another one down here. This one's even just as well, wider and just as deep. We have a USB and auxiliary port here. Storage, very nice. Coin holders, more storage down here. We've got a 12 volt outlet, let's see. One more USB port there. Sorry, the angle is really steep. That's way down there. More storage all the way underneath here. Holy moly. I mean, that just, wow. That's a complete pass through, just so you know, so that second row passengers can access things from under there. Cup holders here, more storage here. Here's a peek at your key fob. We've got locking, power lift gate, remote start, power doors also included. And then over here we have a lockable glove box with your owner's manuals intact and inside. Hiya. And that's gonna be it for the front seating area. Let's not forget these uh, nice, comfortable, uh, and adjustable um, armrests on here. So you can press this button to kind of have it lock into a certain position for you depending on what you want your seating angle to be there. Sorry, I got the hiccups too. Goodness, so many problems in my life. All right, so that's it for the front area here. We're gonna go ahead and check out the back seats here now. Second row, third row, as well as the hatch area. Let's go ahead. How do we want to open this door here? Let's press the button. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we've got captain's chairs in our second row with dual armrests, same perforated leather here. Looks like we have some stow and go technology with this being a Mopar product. We've got bag hooks, cargo netting, and then again, that nice pass-through storage right there. Looks like if we get a hand under here, a couple more cup holders as well. On the doors, we're gonna have sun shades, and that's uh, available on the third row as well, so you can put those up. Rear climate control, handles, hooks, ventilation, lighting as well. Looks like more microphones too for the Bluetooth system. Bottle holders also in the doors, as well as window controls too. Now say if we want to stow this seat right here but we need to get a seat out of the way we can press this and it's automatic thank goodness you can see how this seat is moving up and completely out of the way now what's going to be beneficial for this is like i don't want my seat there make sure you have your memory seating set so that way you can just press a button to get that all back here but now this seat is up and out of the way and if we look under here we've got either a ton of extra storage capability as you can see or the ability to fully stow this seat here so bear with me while I do this uh, one-handed oh god don't hit me <laughs> so you can see that folds into the seat here and we just pull this back press down and that locks into place and boom We've got a ton of utility if you need some storage here. We'll leave this one up, we'll leave this one in here, just for example. And then we can actually peer into the third row now. There we go, that clicks into place completely. There we go, awesome. Cup holders, storage, again the sun shades here, ventilation and lighting back here too. We've got seating for three. Um, second row and third row has the capability for latch seating for your child seats depending on where you need your car seat or booster seat to be so just keep that in mind got some nice adjustable shoulders on all of the seat belts on the first and second row as well just depending on the size of the person there too to increase that comfort as well as safety what do we have here hmm that's probably for unfolding things so Let's go ahead and check out our hatch area here. Power lift gate. All right. So let's go ahead and get this moved back down here. There we go. Power lift gate control here. We've got the carpeted floor mat set available for you, which you can see pops into those little circular holes that we're seeing all over the place with those pieces there 12 volt outlet back here 
tons of bag hooks, one, two, three, four, five, available for you there to keep items from rolling around. And let's go ahead and stow this seat right here. So we'll want to start here, get that retracted, and then we're going to have to pull this, but we need to pull that as well. So we're going to loop the camera finger right here for some pulling. And we're going to come down here, pull this, pull that back. Shazam. And this will be a little bit more flush, but obviously we've got some, uh, some carpeted floor mats in the way here. But uh, it looks like those appear to be uh, some rear ventilation available. We can also see rear vents coming from underneath the front seats there too. So we've got great circulation in the vehicle. And also, I mean, if you have four people with you, but you need tons of cargo space, you've got it. So many different configurations that you can have in these modern minivans. Uh, it's pretty cool actually some modern engineering in action. So we're going to leave this just like here just to show it off to the next people who are going to be viewing this vehicle. Let's go ahead and close this up here. Rear lighting also. And then just checking out our passenger seat adjustability. This appears to be a four-way manually adjustable passenger seat right here. Okay. All right. We're all done, folks. Thanks again for your time on yet another vehicle. Make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections about any of the information provided to you today. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles we're uploading to this channel for your informational and shopping needs. This particular Pacifica is available for sale and any other information that you need to help you make the decision on becoming an owner of it, such as the price, your trade value, the car facts, and getting in contact with our team to help you with all of your vehicle needs, head on over to keyofcolumbia.com and feel free to use the link down below in the description for ease of access to this Pacifica. This is Matt Croissant over here at Key of Columbia here in Missouri. We hope you're having a wonderful day.